dear students welcome to my classroom in previous class we derived the formula to find the point which divides a line segment in given ratio that is section formula also midpoint formula and also we learned about points of trajection as well as we solved some problems in exercise 7.2 and in this class we are going to solve remain remaining problems in that exercise and also we are going to find the formula to find the centroid of a triangle okay so first uh, in exercise 7.2 seventh problem find the coordinates of points which divide the line segment joining a minus 4 comma 0 and b 0 comma 6 into four equal parts so here the ends of the line segment a and b are given now we have to find three points which divides the line segment AB into four equal parts. Okay. So the given points are A minus 4 comma 0 and B 0 comma 6. Right. P, Q and R be the required points which divides AB into four equal parts. Like this. AB is the line segment. P, Q, and R are the required points which divides A, B into four equal parts. So, students, here we can observe that A, P is equal to P, Q is equal to Q, R is equal to R, P. So that here Q is the midpoint of A, B. Isn't it? So, the midpoint Q is equal to midpoint of AB. And we know that midpoint formula is x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2. So now the midpoint of AB is minus 4 plus 0 by 2 comma 0 plus 6 by 2. That is minus 4 by 2 comma 6 by 2 which is equal to minus 2 comma 3. So we got the midpoint of AB, which is one required point. Now, the point P is equal to midpoint of AQ, because we know that AP is equal to PQ. So, P is equal to midpoint of the line segment joining A and Q. So, A equal to minus 4 comma 0 and q is equal to minus 2 comma 3. So that midpoint of aq is minus 4 minus 2 by 2, 0 plus 3 by 2. That is minus 6 by 2 comma 3 by 2, which is equal to minus 3 comma 3 by 2. In the similar way, point r is the midpoint of q and b, where q is minus 2 comma 3 and b is 0 comma 6. So the midpoint of QB, that is R equal to minus 2 plus 0 by 2, comma 3 plus 6 by 2. So minus 2 by 2, comma 9 by 2, which is equal to minus 1, comma 9 by 2. So we got all the three points which divides AB into four equal parts. So and the points are minus 2, comma 3, minus 3, comma 3 by 2, and minus 1, comma 9 by 2. Okay. And the next one, find the coordinates of the points which divides the line segment joining A minus 2 comma 2 and B 2 comma 8 into four equal parts. So this is same to the previous problem. So that's why just I am presenting, not explaining, just you are watch carefully. So it is same to previous problem. 
So first point is 0, 5. Second point is minus 1, 7 by 2. And third point is 1, 13 by 2. Okay. Now, the next problem is find the coordinates of the point which divides the line segment joining the points a plus b comma a minus b and a minus b comma a plus b in the ratio 3 is to 2 internally. So here the points are a and b, a, a plus b comma a minus b, b a minus b comma a plus b. And now we have to find the point which divides a b in the ratio 3 is to 2. It is nothing but section formula we have to use here. Okay. So the point which divides a b in the ratio 3 is to 2 is mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n, comma m by 2 plus n by 1 by m plus n. So now substitute that a is equal to, sorry, m is equal to 3, n is equal to 2, x1 is equal to a plus b, y1 is equal to a minus b, x2 is equal to a minus b, and y2 is equal to a plus b. So then we get 5a minus b by 5 comma 5a plus b by 5. This is the point which divides a b in the ratio 3 is to 2 internally. Okay. Now, before going to next problem, we have to recapitulate about the medians and centra. So what is median and what is centroid of a triangle? We know that the line segment joining the vertices to the midpoints of opposite sides are called medians of the triangle. In a triangle, the lines joining the vertices to the midpoints of opposite sides are called the medians of the triangle, like this. This is triangle ABC and D, E and F are the midpoints of the sides BC, CA and AB respectively. Now, the line joining the vertex A to midpoint of BC, that is AD, is called median. So, three medians exist for a triangle and these three medians are intersect at the same point. That is, they are concurrent. Concurrent means the lines which intersect at the same point. So, here the intersection point is called the centroid. Centroid is the intersection point of medians in a triangle. And we denote the median by G. And G divides, the centroid divides each median in the ratio 2 is to 1, like this. 2 is to 1, 2 is to 1, 2 is to 1. Okay. So if the vertices of a triangle are given, how to find the centroid? Let us see. Let A x1 comma y1, B x2 comma y2, and C x3 comma y3 be the vertices of the triangle. Then midpoint of BC is D equal to midpoint of BC. Mid, we know the midpoint formula. X2 plus X1 plus X2 by 2, Y1 plus Y2 by 2. But here B and C are X2 by 2 and X3 by 3. So that D is X2 plus X3 by 2 comma Y2 plus Y3 by 2. Now, the centroid G is the point which divides AB in the ratio 2 is to 1. So we know here A is x1 by 1 and D is x2 plus x3 by 2 comma y2 plus y3 by 2 and the ratio m is to n is 2 is to 1. So the point m x2 plus n x1 by m plus n. A is first point, D is second point and similarly 2 
m by 2 plus n by 1 by m plus n. So now cancelling to here we get x2 plus x3 plus x1 by 3 by 2 plus y3 plus y1 by 3. So by rearranging this order, the centroid of the triangle formed by the vertices x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3 is x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 comma y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3. Okay. This is also one important concept of this chapter. So now let us solve the problems based on this concept in exercise 1.2. Find the coordinates of centroid of the triangle with vertices. First one, minus one comma three, six comma minus three and minus three comma six. So here the given points are A, that is the vertices of triangle are A minus one comma three, B six comma minus three, and C minus three comma six. Now the centroid of triangle ABC is G equal to X1 plus X2 plus X3 by three, Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3 by three. So now substitute X1 is minus one, X2 is six, X3 is minus three. Y1 is three, Y2 is minus three, Y3 is six. So from this we can write minus one plus six minus three by three. 3 plus into minus minus 3 plus 6 by 3. That is 2 by 3 comma 6 by 3. 6 by 3 is nothing but 2. So the centroid of the triangle with the given vertices is 2 by 3 comma 2. And the second one, 6 comma 2, 0 comma 0 and 4 comma minus 1. So here also same procedure, centroid form is x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3, y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3. So we get 10 by 3 comma minus 5 by 3 as centroid. And the third one is also same method. So observe carefully. So we get minus 2 comma minus 2 by 3 comma 5 by 3 as centroid. Okay. Okay, students, that is the end of this exercise. So, see you in next class with a new concept. Until then, bye.